Hey there. So check it out. I have this motherboard here and a power supply, and um, while it doesn't look like it's on, it actually is. This is the monitor that it's connected to right now. So I'm currently running CPU burn on two cores, because it's just a dual core processor, and it's currently at 50 degrees, the processor. But you know, not that's not bad, considering <laughs> the CPU fan is just disconnected. I don't know why I'm doing this. Um, maybe to test throttling. I'm not sure what, what temperature it throttles at, but the core temperature uh, currently is at 53 degrees. It's been running for a while now, but um, that's surprisingly not that hot. It's climbing though. It, it's not, you know, it hasn't stabilized. But I'm just trying to see, you know, what this does. This processor is a crappy Pentium uh, G620, which is not a good, <laughs> particularly good processor. It's a second generation core technology, which is Sandy Bridge. Um, I unfortunately have a third generation core i3, which is far faster than this processor. And uh, it works in this motherboard, but I get un instability. Um, generally works perfectly. And the symptom is the computer just randomly shuts off. So you're doing something and it has something to do with load. It's just basically you're, say, watching a video, which, you know, uses hardware de decompression. So there's hardly any load and uh, the computer just shuts off. And it's very random and doesn't happen that often. I actually left the computer running for half the day and then I came back just a little while ago and I noticed it was off and I booted back up, checked the logs. And of course, Windows says, yeah, the last shutdown was unexpected. So uh, it's currently up to 60 degrees and climbing ever so steadily. But considering <laughs> there's no fan running, it's pretty hilarious. Um, and it hasn't throttled yet. So 2.6 gigahertz processor. Anyways, it's really disappointing. I can't, I can't get the, the other Core i3 working. I don't know if it's the chip that's bad or the motherboard. I mean, I have to believe it's the motherboard. I mean, the only thing is with this chip in here, which is a second generation chip, works perfectly. And I mean, this board officially supports second and third generation. So who knows what's going on? But um, it's pretty frustrating. And I don't feel like buying another motherboard that's compatible with that chip in case the chip is bad. And I don't feel like buying another chip, even though those are older now, it's, you know, we're up to sixth generation Intel processors now, and it's a third, but it does feel like a waste of money. And um, yeah, it's pretty frustrating. The pr problem is so intermittent that I don't really want to use it. I was going to build myself a new bench computer, you know, for my lab here, for my workbench with these parts. Um, I was using this as a home theater computer down in the basement here on in my little TV area, but I switched to a much smaller computer that I bought for that. That's very quiet. Not that this isn't quiet. And um, yeah, I was hoping to get more performance for faster compilation and stuff. So we're at 69 degrees and climbing, although it's still 2.6 gigahertz, so it hasn't throttled. Anyhow, uh, yeah, so this is my playing around, you know, torturing an Intel processor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and just in case anyone's curious, it's an AS Rock motherboard, uh, model number. Hmm, not seeing it. It's underneath the hard drive, I think. It's like a H67M or something like that, I think is the uh, part number. So, anyways, uh, we've reached 71 degrees. Yeah. Well, I'm still running the CPU without the fan connected. And I'm currently at 99,000. So I'm waiting for throttling to happen. So far I've seen nothing. It's right at 100. According to the uh, temperature sensors on the die, core one is 100, package is 100, 98. But I'm not seeing any throttling. 101, no throttling. When does it throttle? Everything I read says it throttles at 100C. But if you look at the core speed right here, that should change and the multiplier should drop. But nothing is happening. 102. 
Well, I guess... <laughs> I mean, I feel bad for torturing this CPU, but... Then again, oh, there, wait, we had a slight fluctuation there and missed it. I saw the numbers just change ever so slightly. So we're at 102. 102 and, oh, there we go, look at that, 25. 26 is the normal multiplier, 24. All right, so it, it throttles back gently. That's interesting. And, um... So I guess it just does exactly what it needs to do to keep it right at 100, de 100 degrees. Yeah, there it is at 25. So I assume that um, you could leave the fan disconnected indefinitely. <laughs> I mean, I've been running this test for quite a while now at full CPU burn on both cores, 100% maximum heat generation. And it's taken quite a long time to get to this point. And the processor is barely slowing down. Now, this is not a very fast processor, but... Um, I don't really know why I should even bother running a CPU. It just, I mean, it doesn't make much noise, I guess, but it just seems like I'll get almost all the performance and, you know, it just stresses out the processor, I guess. Anyway, it's very interesting. I'm sorry. This is just a little bit of a test. And, um, you know, I don't know. This, maybe someone will find this interesting because I kind of find this interesting. And interesting. Oh, one thing that is interesting is if I, well, I can really feel the heat coming off of this. So, I guess in a closed case, uh, the motherboard might not cool as well as in the is in the open air right now. I mean, there's no air blowing on this uh, motherboard whatsoever, but the heat is dissipating straight up. So, if it was in an enclosed case, probably it wouldn't. It would have to throttle more. But the uh, air twenty four, so it barely slows down. But here's what's interesting. So I'm going to plug in the fan. And why don't you watch the temperatures there? Okay, let's see. Sorry, this multi pin connector is a bit pain to connect. Go. Here we go. Here comes the fan. You can hear it. Watch. Wow. I really feel the heat blowing off of it. Watch how quickly the temperatures will drop. <laughs> so the fan's not even running that quick, 1900 RPM. And look, it's already down to the 70s and dropping fast. I mean, this room is, you know, relatively um, cool where I am right now. Uh, maybe in the, it's probably in the 20s, like 20 degrees in here, the ambient temperature. So, uh, yeah, it cools very well, but it's definitely <laughs> cooling very quickly. Yep, I feel the heat coming off that, but initially it was a blast of hot air. Now it's sort of just warm, which of course uh, makes sense because uh, the die temperature is in the 50s here, and um, the case temperature itself it's probably even cooler, like the heat sink, you know, because the heat has to transfer from the dies out into the heat sink. And this is just an aluminium heat sink, it's not very good. So. Anyways, thought you might find that interesting if you did. Thumbs up, and see you later.